So today, we are going to be graphing equations in standard form. Now, we're used to graphing equations that are in the form y equals mx plus b. Notice, these two equations are not in that format. They have x and y on the same side of the equal side, and they're both equal to a regular number on the other side. Now, you can't just look at this and know what the slope and y-intercept are to graph it. However, there are two ways we can graph these equations. Let me show you the slightly harder way first, okay? So one way to do this is to use algebra to get this into slope-intercept form. And since we know slope-intercept form has a y equals, we need to get this side to have y by itself. So we're going to solve this algebra equation to get y alone on the left side of the equal sign. So to get y by itself, I'm going to start by subtracting 6x on both sides. When I do that, the 6x's undo each other, but the minus 4y drops down, the equals drops down, and I can't subtract 6x's from 12, so I'm going to have to keep these two separate. I'm going to leave the negative 6x there and then the positive 12 behind it. All right? So I've almost got y by itself, but it's being multiplied by negative 4. So I'm going to divide it by negative 4. And what I do to one side, I have to do to the entire other side. And when I do that, the negative 4s undo each other, the y drops down, the equals drops down, and here's where things get tricky. We're going to have to divide each of these by negative 4. Negative 6 divided by negative 4 is positive, and 6 divided by 4, that's going to get me a, a decimal, so I'm going to keep it as a fraction. So 6 over 4, x because 6 divided by 4 is 6 fourths. And then positive 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. And now I've got y by itself, and I should reduce my fraction. I'm going to reduce it to 3 halves, because 6 fourths can be reduced to 3 halves. And notice, now that I've got into slope-intercept form, I can graph this pretty easily. My y-intercept's negative 3, plot that there. My slope is 3 over 2, so from negative 3, I'm going to go up 3 over 2, up 3 over 2, up 3 over 2, up 3 over 2, and I can graph it. All right? But I want to show you another way to do this that's actually a lot faster than doing all of this algebra and then graphing it using the slope and the y-intercept. And the way I'm going to show you how to do it is by finding the x and y-intercepts directly from the original equation. Here's what I mean. If I have this original equation, I'll rewrite it down here. 6x minus 4y equals 12. All right. If x was 0, what would y have to be to make this whole side equal to 12? Well, if x is 0, 6 times 0 is 0. So negative 4 times what would equal 12? Negative 4 times negative 3 would. So this combination of x being 0 and y equals negative 3, that is a point on my line. In fact, it's the y-intercept. Sideways 0, down 3. There it is. That point is on my line. OK? Now, what if y was 0 instead? If y is 0, then 4 times 0 is 0. So I'm left with 6 times what would equal 12? Well, 6 times 2 would equal 12. So the x value has to be 2 if y is 0. So the x value of 2 and y value of 0, this combination is also a point on our line, 2, 0. And now that we have two points, we know exactly where the line's going to be because it's going to have to go through those two points. So now I can draw the line. All right. So a lot of times, when you're working with equations in standard form, it's easier to just go through and straight find up the x and y-intercepts, because then it saves you a bunch of time on the algebra, and it gives you two points, and you can just draw a line through it. All right. Although sometimes I will say it is faster to do it this way sometimes if the y-intercepts don't end up being whole numbers. Okay. But let's do a second example, and I'll show you how to do it just using the intercepts this time. And I'll show you just how quick it is. All right, so we've got negative 5x plus 15y equals 30. OK, what if x was 0? Well, then negative 5 times 0 is 0. So then 15 times y would equal 30. So 15 times what equals 30? 15 times 
2 equals 30. So the point zero 2 is on this line. Okay, well, what if y is 0 this time? 15 times 0 is 0. So negative 5 times what would equal 30? Negative 5 times negative 6 would equal positive 30. So negative 6, 0 is another point on our line. And notice, I always pick uh, 0 for x and then 0 for y because those are the easiest numbers to work with because it completely eliminates one of the numbers from our equation, so it's easy to find the other one. I mean, technically, you could pick any number for x and y, but putting in 0 makes this a lot easier. All right, so let's plot these. 0, 2 is right here. Negative 6, 0 is right here. When I draw my line through those two points, I get my second graph. All right? So graphing equations in standard form can be that quick. Finding two points, plotting them, drawing a line, if you use the x and y intercepts. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, it really helps us out when you subscribe. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.